help illegals. That's not what we do. And if a stranger dwells with you in your land, you shall not mistreat him. Leviticus 19.33 You shall have the same law for the stranger and for one from your own country. Leviticus 24.22 The stranger who dwells among you shall be to you as one born among you, and you shall love him as yourself. Leviticus 19.34 And I'm not going to help illegals stay here. I won't. Don't ask me. I won't do it. It's like, really? Because these, these, these do-gooders, somebody, some bleeding heart moron is thinking they're helping people? If you do away with the yoke of oppression, with the pointing fingers and malicious talk, and spend yourselves on behalf of the hungry and satisfy the needs of the oppressed, then your light will rise in the darkness. Your night will become like the noonday, Isaiah 58, 9, 10. We don't help illegals. That's not what we do. Amen? We love people. Don't get me wrong, please. I told somebody this this morning. We love uh, 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 gay people. <laughs> and I'm not going to help illegals stay here. I won't. Don't ask me. I won't do it. Truly I tell you, whatever you did not do, for one of the least of these you did not do for me, Matthew 25, 44, 45. Carry each other's burdens, and in this way you will fulfill the law of Christ, Galatians 6, 2. When did the Christian teaching that we are all made in the image of God become qualified by the word illegal? When did Christian dominionist theology become so perniciously corrupted by political culture, war biases, that those made in the image of God become orphans to God's grace through the demagoguery of politicians or preachers? Our churches must be the presence of Christ to all persons, regardless of country of origin or legal status. We need to stand against bigotry, harassment, and exploitation, even if it has become politically profitable for the demagogue or the preacher to exploit it. We don't help illegals. That's not what we do.